Hey everyone, today this is going to be a main speed cubes video. I haven't made a video in a while, or this type of video in a while at all, so uh, I want to go over the main speed cubes I have for, I guess, this year, and kind of see how it changes next year, uh, because I really haven't changed many things except for mainly 3x3, uh, three three and not really that much else. So I'll just start with 3x3. Three three. Uh, I don't do 2x2, two two, so I don't really have a main. I actually don't have a 2x2 two two anymore at all, so... I don't really have anything, so yeah. Um, my main 3x3 is the uh, GTS, and along with the uh, Yusha. So I like both of these cubes. I can't really choose which one I like more. Uh, I kind of use them interchangeably. They're both really, really good. Um, this one... The U-Shot feels a lot smoother. It has a nice uh, airy, kind of clicky feel. Uh, you can hear when you turn, the corner is just interacting with the center and the edge as you turn it really fast. Um, but yeah, it's an overall enjoyable, smooth, fast, controllable cube. And that's what I really like about this one. Uh, the GTS, I use it. Uh, it's a lot, it's basically a completely different feel. It's crunchy. It's crunchy and really fast. Uh, sometimes it can be a little bit uncontrollable, but what I did was I, um, I guess I do this with all my cubes. I lube it all with 50k and break them in a bunch. I over lube them and then just kind of break them in, and that's how it kind of works. I did it with this one as well, and it seemed to work out pretty well. It's not too fast. It's not slow either. I I've never seen a slow GTS before either, but or a felt one actually. Uh, but this is a very it's a very controllable GTS and I really like it and it's my main for a reason I just like it it's also it's one of the GTS's that I like one thing I like about this one is it's crunchy and it's very controllable as well as this one but it also can be really really fast so sometimes I it can like overshoot because I'm turning really fast on it but that's pretty much about it so yeah the GTS and the Yusha both my mains uh, go check them out they're really good cubes so for 4x4, I still use the same one, I think, since a year ago, uh, is the Yushin 4x4, the original, not the blue. Uh, I had two of these originally. Uh, the first one I got, I modded, and it worked out really, really well. And this one, I bought, I bought a second one, which is this one. What I did with this one, I did the exact same mod, and I, and I lubed it the exact same way as that one, and it turned out even better than the first one. So this one is my main, my uh, by far, I haven't changed any of the stickers as you can see, oh, they're pretty beat up. It's extremely smooth and fast, I really like about that. Uh, corner cuts pretty well. Uh, I modded this so it doesn't pop, so basically what I did was I, um, I noticed what made this uh, Yushin pop a lot. Um, I think some people have the problem with it too. Uh, a lot of people said theirs was slow, but mine is plenty fast and they can turn really really well like it just turns really smoothly uh, what I figured out made it pop was the the internal pieces were a little bit too big or um, like they're like Shang Shao pieces they were rounded but they weren't rounded enough so what I did was I basically constant modded the entire thing which only took about 20 minutes and the cube turned pretty well and I literally I this has been my main ever since. Um, I don't see anything really beating this 4x4. Uh, I have tried <clears throat> a Guansu, and I thought that was good at first, but then I and then I kind of just switched back to this one because I just really like this 4x4. Um, I don't know. I feel like it's iconic because not a lot of people use this or think it was good to begin with. So I really like using this 4x4. It's really good. I'm not the fastest, but yeah. Overall, good inner layers, outer layers. I pretty much can do 3x3 three three stage, like it's 3x3 three three on here. Yeah, that is um, the Yushin 4x4. Four four. Uh, for 5x5, five five, I used to use the uh, Yushin 5x5, five five, but I switched to the Botron. Uh, this is a stickerless one. 
this one's pretty good. Um, it's pretty good. At, I got this out of the box. I don't think I lubed it at all or anything. I just kind of broke it in a bunch, and it turns pretty well. Uh, it turns really smoothly. It doesn't really lock up on me that much. It's 5x5, five five though. I really don't... I did a little bit of 5x5 five five when I got this just to try it out, and I did get sub-150 averages a lot with it, which is good for me. It's not good, I guess, at all, but it's pretty good for me because I don't do 5x5 five five that often, so... Uh, I could easily get 130s, 135s to like 145, so I was pretty much sub 150. Uh, I did average at 100 with this, and I got a 149, so um, I'm pretty sure I'm sub 50, but who knows, because I don't practice that often with 5x5. Five five. But yeah, the inner and the outer layers are really good. Uh, what I noticed about this cube was it was really, really sandy, and it still retains that feel even after breaking it in a bunch, and I really like that. Uh, it just makes it feel really nice in the hands, I guess. Uh, it's just a feel I really like. And I like the... One thing I like about this is the stickerless shades. Um, I never have to replace the stickers now with these, so I think that's pretty cool. That's kind of what the point of stickerless cubes are, but um, before they were banned, but now since we're allowed to use them in comp, I pretty much just uh, lean towards stickerless now because then I don't have to replace the stickers. It's in the long run more cost effective, but I know people prefer their shades, so they get a black or a white cube and then re-sticker it. But yeah, that's just me. So, um, Mo Yi Bo Chuang. For 6x6, I still use the same Shang Shao 6x6 I've been using since it came out. I haven't really um, done anything to it since. I don't do 6x6 anymore. I used to do it a lot, but um, not anymore. Uh, it's pretty good. It, it works for me. It's smooth. It's fast. It does pop, but again, I don't do it that often, but it does work as a 6x6. One thing I like about this is it's really, really tight. Like, it's like it's really tight, and it's very controllable. Of course, I'm not the best at 6x6, but this is um, really good uh, 6x6. Just for me, I don't really, if I don't need to buy a Yushin if I don't need it. What, what my principle, I guess, to buying a new cube is if I need it or not. So, I don't really do 6x6 enough to buy a new one. So, unless I just happen to really get into 6x6 or I just feel like getting it. But, usually my principle of getting cubes is if I actually need it. So, that's kind of what it is now. So, yeah, uh, Yushin 6x6. Oh, no, oh, sorry. Not the Yushin, this is the Shang Shao, sorry. <laughs> okay, so for a 7x7, I use a, uh, a a Cubic Alfu. Now, I bought this for $15 from Daniel. Uh, it's pretty good. It's definitely better than uh, my Shang Shao right here. But uh, I really like this 7x7. It's really smooth, it's really fast. It performs super well. It basically felt it. It's it's definitely the best seven by seven on the market um, as of right now, at least. But I don't do seven by seven that often, so the finger tricking is kind of weird. But yeah, that's seven by seven. Uh, yeah, it's pretty good. Uh, shades are nice. Uh, turning is nice. One thing I like about this is the consistency of the turning. So the outer layers, for me, feel just like the inner layers. So the consistency of the feel of the outer and the inner layers are is there. And I really like about that about the cube. So yeah, that's, uh, this is the uh, Moyu Cubic Alfu. It's pretty good. For, I guess, Mega Minx, I use a Dian. Um, I don't do Mega Minx that often either, so I just kind of use um, whatever is available. I have, so I do have a Yuhu, but uh, that's okay. I really don't like it that much, but this is, it works for me. The Dian, it's, my Dian's not horrible, but it's not the greatest either. I have tried an X-Man, uh, an X-Man Mega Minx. Those, I tried those, those are amazing. If I had one, it'd be my main right there, right then and there. It's really, really good. Um, 
but this is really good as well. Um, I don't do Mega Minx enough to actually, I guess, get it. This just happens to be a good Mega Minx, really. Um, works for me. Um, I don't need a good one. I just need a decent one, and this kind of fits the picture. So, yeah, I use a Dian Mega Minx. For square one, I use um, a Chi. -E. Uh, this is a stickerless cheat. I'm getting a new one. This is the broken one now. Um, the core stripped and stuff, and I'm just going to get a new one, and I don't want to deal with that. So I just super glued the um, screw together to the piece, the black piece over here. And um, I'm probably, maybe, I don't I haven't thought about this or haven't considered doing this, but um, I was thinking about taking all these pieces out and moving it to the newer Chi -E, so the pieces are already broken in. I, I don't know how that will work. Um, I did get a stickerless one as well. I got the same one. Uh, I do like these stickerless shades. I don't have to replace them or anything. And Usually I like green in front, but it doesn't really matter to me. I don't really, I actually don't care um, about square one shades as long as white's on top and yellow's on bottom. Um, it doesn't matter to me as long as that. Um, the shades are nice, and that's why I like using this. And it makes kind of square one fun since this is a, probably the best square one on the market. Actually, it is the best square one on the market. Um, it turns really well. It's smooth, fast. Yeah, it's really, really good. So yeah, that's square one. For pyraminx, um, I don't really do it uh, ever. I haven't done it since since like three years ago. Three years ago, I used to be really into pyraminx and. I stopped, but this is the Shangsha Pyramix. Now I heard they're coming out with a new magnetic one, but I'm probably not going to get that because I don't need it. So, um, so yeah, this is just uh, Shangsha. It works for me. Um, I haven't even gotten the Moyu because I don't need it. So yeah, it turns pretty nicely. It there's nothing special about this. It's just a Shangsha Pyramix, really. Uh, tips are nice. It turns okay, so it turns good enough for me to, I guess, speed solve if I really wanted to, but I'm probably not going to ever, so yeah, I just kind of have it in my collection, so yeah, that's a uh, Shangsha Pyramix. Uh, for Scube, I also don't do at all. I don't really do a lot of events that are, I guess, side events, um, except for Square One, but Scube, I don't really do, but this is a Moe Scube. I don't know how to finger trick it at all. Uh, it turns, it turns like a Mogi Scoob. It's fast. It turns okay. Um, locks up, but you know, because of my turning style, not because of the actual Scoob. Yeah, that's uh, Mogi Scoob. You guys kind of know how some of these cubes are already, but this is just a fat. It's nothing special about this cube. Just has ball bearings. Um, it turns pretty nice. So, but yeah, that's the Mogi Scoob. And for one-handed, I use the 50 millimeters Zanchi. Uh, I've been using this since it came out, pretty much, for one-handed. Yeah, it's really good. I, I love this cube. Um, it's smooth, it's fast, um, and it's controllable as well. That's... And... That's pretty hard to find in the Zanchi, I guess, for me. I don't really have one that's that feels just like this, even for two-handed. It's it's definitely hands down one of the best one-handed cubes I've ever had. So I've been using this for a long, long time. Uh, yeah. So this is a really good cube. I it's probably my most prized cube. Like, um, it's definitely the one I treasure the most, honestly. This cube. Um, it's gotten me uh, two sub ten singles one-handed and yeah I don't know this this is just something that someone gave to me so I really like this cube a lot I treasure it I don't let anything happen to it you know it you can't really solve two-handed on this because it'll pop because of how loose it is um, but one-handed it doesn't pop it only in two-handed it can pop so it's pretty loose but that's why I like in this cube so yeah guys uh, these are my main speed cubes um, yeah, thanks guys for watching. I uh, hope you guys have a great day. Uh, I'll see you next time.